The Patiomatic Model 330A is a fully automatic machine that can produce 1,800 patties per hour. This machine is interlocked to ensure operator's safety. The Model 330A is equipped with a 75-pound capacity feed tray. It also stacks patties while interleaving paper. Unplug the machine from its power supply. Remove the feed tray. Remove the mold plate guard by loosening the guard knobs and unlatching the pushrod collar. Remove the pressure plate by disconnecting the spring. Using the tool provided with the machine, remove the feeder washer. Remove the feeder from the hopper by rotating it until it clears the meat stop. Then lift it from the machine. To remove the chamber lid, remove the bolts and lift off the hopper. Remove the four hopper hold-down bolts. Lift the hopper from the machine. Lift the spacer plate from the machine. After use, spacer plate may be stuck to the hopper. A spacer plate is needed for any size mold under 3 quarters of an inch. Disconnect the mold plate from the connecting arm. If needed, unscrew the knob to disconnect the mold plate. Using the tool provided, remove the knockout cup assembly. The parts that were removed from the machine should be washed, rinsed, and sanitized. Wipe all surfaces of the machine, especially where product can accumulate. The machine itself should be washed, rinsed, and sanitized by hand. Do not use a hose or pressure washer to clean the machine. Make sure the parts are dry before assembling the machine. Attach the mold plate to the connecting arm. Place the spacer plate on the machine with the small holes at the front of the machine. Place the hopper over the shaft onto the machine. Make sure the X-bolt is aligned with one of the small holes in the corner of the spacer plate. Install the four hold-down bolts in place. Tighten by hand only. Place the chamber lid on the hopper. Install the two bolts on the chamber lid. Tighten by hand only. Tighten all six bolts using the tool provided. Do not over-tighten or use any other tool to tighten the bolts. Place the feeder over the shaft by rotating it until it clears the meat stop and goes all the way onto the shaft. Line up the pin of the feeder washer with the keyway in the feeder and the shaft. Tighten the bolt with the tool provided. Do not over-tighten or use any other tool. Slide the pressure plate in place and attach the spring collar over the pin. Install the feed tray. Be sure to place the tray plunger inside safety sleeve. Install the mold plate guard by placing the two slots under the guard knobs and fastening the push rod and collar to the key latch. Plug the machine into its power supply. Turn the machine on. Stop the machine in the down position. Make sure there is no space between the arm and the cabinet. Unplug the machine from its power supply. Remove the mold plate guard by loosening the guard knobs and unlatching the pushrod collar. Assemble the knockout cup assembly. The proper order is as follows. Start with the bolt, then the large washer, then the air valve, 
Then the knockout cup is shown. Finally, the plastic washer. Attach the knockout cup assembly to the machine. Be sure the washer and lock washer are directly under the wing nut as shown. Align the knockout cup in the center of the mold. Using the tool provided, tighten the wing nut. Make sure the knockout cup stays in the center of the mold. Install patty paper over the center pin. Up to one inch of paper can be used at one time. This is around 250 sheets. Paper location can be adjusted if needed. See owner's manual for details. Install the mold plate guard and plug your machine into the power supply. Your Model 330A patty machine is ready for operation. Load the feed tray with up to 75 pounds of product. Proper operation requires the product to be pushed through or under the guard into the feed mechanism. Do not use a stomper or plunger to feed product. Turn on the machine. It may take a few cycles to properly fill your patty. Allow the patties to stack on the table or the receiving table provided with the machine. Do not catch the patties by hand. The operator can continue to feed product while the machine is running. This is only needed after producing 12 to 15 pounds of patties. Paper may be added while the machine is running. The pin in the pressure plate can be adjusted for individual product or appearance needs. See the owner's manual for further information. Daily maintenance requires these six spots to be lubricated using the lubrication provided with the machine. There is one grease fitting that the factory suggests to grease monthly. For further information, please contact your local authorized dealer or contact Patty Omatic Incorporated at 877-938-5244. Visit us on the web at www.pattyomatic.com.